Uh, Southern Tennessee Mom. Today we're going to make um, a sunflower ring um, with some tulle ribbon for the front door of my niece's wedding, for the wedding chapel, the doors. I got one started here, but I'm going to start another. I have to have two. So. I just have these um, sunflowers I got from um, the Walmart, and um, they're just mainstay sunflowers. And they were, um, if you can see that, they were 97 cents a bundle. I'm using two bundles, and then I've got this tool that I got at Walmart. I've used this many times in different projects. Um, also, I've got Gorilla Glue Sticks. And of course, I've got the glue gun. Okay, and also I am using uh, garbage ties. Okay, you can use brad ties, garbage tag. I just, I don't use these to tie up my garbage bags, so I just double knot them. So I've got all these extra ones. We're gonna use these today to make the ring. So I'm gonna pause the video while I'm just gonna push your leaves up. Cause I want all the leaves to the top. I'll show that, show you that real quick. Like that. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to <clears throat> just wiggle it back and forth. Cause I still don't have any um, wire uh, snips for wires, whatever you wanna call them. Cause I'm not gonna pay the price they want for them at Walmart. I'm just wait till I get some more back in it at the Dollar Tree. And they work just as good. This works pretty quick too. I mean, as long as we get that plastic cut, it'll snap right off. Also, I've got one of these. Uh, I got this, uh, remember those big sunflowers that I made the wedding bouquet out of? This all, this is one of those. This come from Hobby Lobby. And they were $2.99 a piece. And they had a half off sale, so they were uh, a, well, like a dollar, dollar and a half a piece, so. We're gonna use one of those in each of them, so we'll have two. Oh, oh, I had to cut these off, I forgot. All I wanna do with these is I'm going to pull the whole thing, just pull it off, leaves and all. All six of them. You're gonna have one like that. Okay, so on these right here with the stems, I'm just going to line them up, but I'm gonna kind of off center them a little bit. You see that? And I'm gonna take a bread tie or bread tie or garbage tie, whichever, and I'm gonna wrap it around. Then I'm going to twist it. And then I'm going to take and and just uh, fold the tie back on itself. Just wrap it around the stem like that. That will hold it in place. All right, so I'm going to keep going around. Yeah. 
and don't worry about the negative space or the uh, verticals. We're going to cover that up later. Now when you get about halfway around, you want to kind of bend the flower a little bit. So now we're going to start bend, bend, bending the flowers at first, and then we're going to put it on here and just come on just like we're doing the rest. And you can do this, um, not for wedding if you want. Uh, but you can make a, a set of ring flowers and then put um, a candle in the middle if you don't, you know, don't need it for this. And you, have, you can do several things with this. This is my last one, so I'm gonna have to uh, t put two ties, one on this one and one on this one. We finish the circle. You can also use zip ties too if you want to. I just had these things on hand and they were free, so. And as you can see, we've got a ring of flowers. Now, I forgot to mention the floral tape. I'm still working on that same roll. All right, so we're gonna take a piece of this, tear it off, and where the stems meet, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna go at the base of the one of the flowers Start wrapping it around. Sorry. It come loose, sir. Didn't have that tight. You want to make sure you get on that tight. It's hard to do with it. <laughs> it is a rain, so. But it's okay. I just want to give those two stems that's tied together a little bit more support so they won't come on to undone. Just like that. 
Okay, so we'll go all the way around the flower. So I'll pause the video till I get both of the both of them done. Okay, I'm back, and um, you can see I've well we're all the way around and done both of these. So I've got two. We see this on Pinterest, and she really liked it, so we chose to do this. But I think they're really beautiful. They're pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna get my glue gun because I've got. There it is, right in front of my face. I've got the um, big sunflower, and we're gonna put. But first, we're gonna do the smaller sunflowers with the leaves. Okay, I'm gonna cut um, the stem off and make it flush. I'm gonna do the same with leaves. I've already glued one of the leaves here. Now I'm gonna put some glue on the back of my sunflower and attach it to the leaf. And that will fill in the dead spots. Now these leaves, I'm just pulling off the plastic little stem and just gluing them down. off any strings but there's one ring okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I've got this piece of toll on all I done was just kind of bunched up by a pack of bow I'll show you how they do that in a minute Okay, I just glued the sunflower right on the bow. I kind of made a spot here, kind of bent back a couple flowers. And I'm gonna add some glue. That was my son. Trying to get ready for Halloween. Add some glue to the back of the bow and I'm gonna put it right there.
just like that. I'm gonna add some reinforcement glue around it. Okay, this is what I did. I just took the the tool, just made it good long. Strip and just cut it off the tool, off the spool. And I just gather it in the middle. I felt the middle. And then I started making loops like this. You can make the loops as big or as small as you want them. And I made four loops just like that. Then what I did was I just took the remainder, wrapped it around each other. You have to wrap one lot around twice. brought around and I made a knot. And if you don't want to do that, I'll show you an easy way to do it too. You can take, keep your lips together Grab your bread tie. And just twist it around the back, like so. Because you're gonna have one of the big sunflowers covering that so you're not going to be able to tell it inhale that that ties even there so I'll use that I had to make some uh, bursting uh, satchels here one day so all right so I've got my bow already made you see it's the same length as the other one and I'm going to cut my stem off flush Add some glue. And I'm going to go ahead and fix it to the bow itself. Once that's dry, then I'm going to come back here, add some more glue. And I already made a spot for it there. So I'm gonna take and I'm going to fix it there, but I'm gonna take this small tail end that I used when I made the bows. I'm just gonna wrap it over it like that. And hold it there for a minute. And there we go. We've now got another one that will hang on the door. Like that. So we have two. So I'm done with that. So, you know, you, you can take anything. It doesn't have to be expensive. And make something beautiful, you know. So just use your imagination. Have a good evening, like and subscribe to the video, and uh, 
leave me a comment below and tell me how you like them. Um, thank you. God bless you. Have a good night.